Hello, it's Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? Here's a weekly update. So today, I guess we're gonna take a look at a bit of um, of everything. We'll take a look, as you can already tell, the Nasdaq. We'll take a look at Bitcoin, Solana. We might take a look at some Ethereum, and then we'll also could take a look at the S and P, um, and I'll see if there's anything reasonable in any U.S. stocks we can also take a look at. So it's gonna be might be a long video. I'll try to, to, to make chapters so you guys can um, can skip ahead to what you want to see, what you're interested in. And uh, as always, I, I'll try not to edit the minute too much. I, literally, I mean, lately, I haven't really edited at all. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be raw. And um, so you guys also can see my, my, my thinking process when I, because I haven't really updated any of these accounts. I will be doing it live with you. So hope that helps. As always, let me know in the comments if you guys appreciate it or if there's anything you want to take a look at. And uh, as always, uh, let me advertise myself, even though I don't sell anything. Um, so we have the new Discord where we basically, I and uh, members, just uh, share ideas and we talk, as you can see. It's pretty active um, and it's completely free. There's no, I don't sell any course, I don't sell any service uh just free if you want to join the link in the description of this video and um yeah just meant to be for people who enjoy the other wave analysis um so enough talking let's just get straight to the video so let's start with the nasdaq i guess as we're here again if you are a subscriber if you've been following me for a while thank you for sure you should know that i've said it i'll just say briefly could th this could be a one two or i see people have this as a wxy and they have a bottom here and they say this is one two three four five wave one whereas i have it as a higher wave three which one is going to be who knows uh but i did show in one of the previous video that if you take a look at the xlk which is the etf on um, technology um on the actual K, this wave one and two, this wave two is much um, shallower. Um, so it, it didn't go all the way down here. So it's kind of basically you're forcing here. If you if you say this is a W, X and Y, so A, B, C and Y, being very shallow, you're kind of forcing it. So if you look at the actual K, it looks like a clear a one, two. Obviously this would be a leading diagonal. So that being said, um, what do we know? So, first of all, we know that we we are actually in whole time high. Uh, we've seen, I think, one of the members. Oh, there you go. I already messed up. Um, so, this is actually interesting. One of the members. Let me just look for it. Um, okay, there you go. So, one of the members pointed out here the number of weeks in the last up weeks in the last 15 weeks of the S&P and uh, it just it hit records highs something that ha didn't happen in 72 um, we knew what happened I mean what happened in 74 um, but uh, that doesn't mean it's gonna happen again so basically all, all this is saying that we've been moving higher um, extremely uh, aggressively which actually could mean that we started a major a major um up move a major bull market um but that's a problem for the future i guess um today i want to focus more on the short term count and i do have some interesting things here on the nasdaq now probably possibility not probably possibility number one we do have a top here we topped on february 12th and now we're resuming higher. How will we know? Well, first of all, as long as we don't break this low, there's really, um, it's a gambling game. Uh, the moment we break this low here, then it starts to get interesting. Um, and we could see um, further downside. Um, ideally, this way four would take us to the areas of previous four, which would be around 15,000. That's ideal. Um, and this could take some time. This could take some months. Um, so I guess we're gonna we're gonna have to find out. So one thing I was thinking is, what if? So if if 
today with today's session, which I think we are on the futures, we're a bit down. Yeah, 0.4% down um, on the futures market. Uh, let me zoom in again. Um, so yeah, I'm recording this. Today is Wednesday, 21st of February, and it is uh, one almost 2 p.m. Uh, CET, Central European Time. So it's one hour ahead of uh, London time. Anyways, that's an important. I mean, the market opens in um, one hour and 50 minutes. Anyways, I thought, what if you have um, one, two, three, four, sideways four, up in five for way three. We're now having way four. We move higher. We finally hit. 18,000. I mean, we did hit 18,000. We just retest 18,000 and then we crash. That would be ideal if you take a look at some stocks, which I guess we'll do right now. Um, looks right about time that we do it. Um, one, so again, I'll just label it, then I'll delete it. One, two, three. Either a four here or even here, some sort of a sideways, oops, some sort of a sideways four. My bad. I messed up. Okay, there you go. And this could be way four. And then again, 18,000. And then we finally um, move back down. Now, um, if you, that being said, before we take a look at stocks, another interesting, very interesting thing which I uh, shared with um, Discord members. So this is the CFD market. And on the CFD market, we can look at volume. Now, don't worry about the counts. It's I don't really tra keep track of the counts here on the CFD market. Only take a look at the cash market. But look at volume. And I mean, give you some context. This is the volume ever since mid January. So f from here, this up move. And that's basically the average volume we had over the entire move to the upside from the low of uh, was October 2022. So over a year, low volume, it's, it's just good. The fact that we're now increasing volume and that significant increase in volume is bearish to me. So it, it is telling me that we could be quite close, if not already, uh, to a top. So this is quite bearish. Obviously, this, I forgot to say it, but I always write it. Obviously, this is not financial advice, but um, I mean, no, but this is not financial advice. However, based on LA theory, as well as volume, um, this usually is quite a bearish sign. It's bearish. Um, so could see, I'm not saying that this is bearish to the fact that we crash. I don't, I, I don't, I have no idea about that, uh, but we could definitely see a larger pullback. And I thought that was very interesting, um, as I noticed the other day. So I wanted to share it. So again, take a look at some stocks here, uh, which are in favor of, uh, are in favor of, um, well, the. So actually, let me just do this. So the Nasdaq daily, which are in favor of this count, meaning that we we're not done yet, but we're almost there. So if we take a look, okay, so Microsoft is not a good example because Microsoft, I could see it being done. Uh, Amazon is a good example. I, I can see for their upside here. Um, same goes for uh, Facebook, Meta, could, could have a top here, but that could be small. So I can see a bit more upside. And then uh, Google is a different thing. So as Nvidia, Nvidia can see more upside, but I would like to see a larger uh, pullback. But I mean, overall, if you look at volume on this volume here yesterday on Nvidia, um, yeah, it's Apple is also different thin. Um, Apple has been moving um, differently from the averages, and by the averages, I mean what um, Elliot Ralph Nelson Elliot himself would call the averages, which were the uh, indices, especially it, it developed a little history here. He developed the weight theory on the Dow Jones Industrial and uh, I think it's called rail, rail, railroad, railways. 
um, which I don't think it's very used anymore. You just obviously the well-known index now is the Dutch Industrial. You don't really hear the railroad. Railroad. My bad. Anyways, um, yeah, H here I can see this being something like this. Um, I can see some sort of a sideways wave B down in C and uh, further downside, maybe a bit lower. Uh, ideally, we keep finding support around in the neighborhood, just to use a mathematical term, in a neighborhood of 180, um, being eight, a, a fib number and a strong number. Um, as we are, we've been training below 200. So that's quite the fact that we've been training below 200 is bearish, but the fact that we keep finding support on previous all time high at 180 is pretty good. Um, so we'll see. Um, interesting RSI divergence here. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, again, we're, we're gonna have to find out, but yeah, so that was basically the stock market techs, tech stocks. Now let's take a look at, let's start with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin here I shared the other day, which was yesterday. I'm getting old, I, I, I start forgetting stuff. Um, I shared on the, what's it called? Discord, the chart. And I said, I said, basically, I said, did we f have a way for in here, a tiny, teeny five, and then we topped, or else we're still in wave four, we're still missing wave five, ideally to 55,000, 55 is a Fibonacci number, it's 34 plus 21. Um, so which one is going to be? That's a, that's a pretty good question. So the answer is I do not know. However, to be honest, um, this increasing, uh, so the disclaimer is, We've had the weekend here, and then we've had, um, it was a holiday, uh, Monday, in the US. So, uh, not, I mean, people, main, main people that, I mean, major inflows in the markets is from um, Americans. Um, so, I'm not, I'm, so it's not a surprise we've seen lower volume. However, we did see, especially in this candle here, large degrees in volume. And um, same goes for here. So it's I'm I could see this happening. I wouldn't like how wave five would be so short, which is why I'm more I do favor this scenario. Or else I could be completely wrong. I'm missing something out. Um, maybe the, this here was a way forward to pair out with this. And now this is some sort of wave A, B, and C, possible. Um, nevertheless, I mean, this does look corrective. So the fact that it looks corrective could mean that it is a wave four, and we're gonna have to see. Um, and it, it really, I, I do have alternates um, for basically the main cryptos that I keep track of, and. Oh, see, the second largest one is ETH, and for ETH, base. So on ETH, I'm I'm been extremely bullish so far. It has been playing out. Um, so I've had this one two one two for a while. So I also have here a one two, and basically on ETH, uh, the whole point is here. If so, I don't really um, have the time to trying to be as accurate as possible, counting this move up. But the point here is pretty, I mean, we could be forming another one too. We should, if I'm correct. And um, it, it'll it move depending on if Bitcoin needs one more like higher, then we'll move higher. Otherwise we topped here as well in a wave one and we could pull back in a wave two. Now, the fact that we are at 3,000, it is quite, um, you know, we gotta be careful. Uh, but I wouldn't, I mean, wouldn't mind to see another push higher and then uh, fall back lower and to just keep floating around that 3,000 uh, to 2,800 
a dollar level um, and um, yeah similar but a bit different goes for Solana which I, I've been keeping track of and uh, just focusing on the short time frame now I, I made a video a long time ago where so another thing I don't know if you're new or so you see these counts many if not always I do have as you can see different alternates I just don't show it every time otherwise videos would be hours long um, and I'm basically every time you see a count that you see here on the video on YouTube I always have alternates I always keep track of alternates I always have alternates in mind so um, I don't marry count I always I'm flexible I know that I can be wrong and I always think okay if I'm wrong what could happen um, so that being said here this could not be an AB uh, 1212 this could be some sort of um, A B and C anyways what I want to focus on is on the true time frame so here I see two possible scenarios two main ones we have and I think I labeled them here okay so one is we have a wave 4 in place to pair with this wave 2 I see a nice 3 wave move and then we have a 1, 2, 1, 2 now let me take you to the 4 hour here 1, 2 1, 2 diagonal wave 1 3 wave move and looking now for upside now if we, I like to look for equalities of corrections and we touched equality here um, so obviously this would be minor wave A, B and C sorry micro, I said minor um, right in here and uh, we would need to move higher I mean this would have to be the low in place because if we and it, it would make sense because after a diagonal usually if, if this is a diagonal wave one then usually the wave two will pull back to the wave two of the diagonal uh, because this would be wave two of the diagonal one two three four five um, so that, that's usually what happens um, but again if if this is correct we need to move higher I mean we, we need to have a bottom um, I cannot allow for much more downside and we need to find support on top of our 100 if you draw a line here on 100 you see how it, I mean it's it's a very important number not surprise look at this so we broke through it and now we need to find root support um, that's the bullish um, view I have for Solana I, and uh, if that's not the case but if we keep on falling lower then the alternate I have is this one Oops, let's move this way four out of the way a b c and w or it could honestly be also uh, just a regular flat um a b c and x or b and then here either an a b c and y or if i always move into wave c so this just uh, bouncing around 100 and then at that point move higher which obviously would correspond to so if we this scenario downside would most likely correspond to the fact that we have a wave one in top here so we keep moving lower if we don't then most likely it could be the alternate so you see how I'm, I'm trying to put pieces of the puzzle all together because these are correlated markets obviously and they tend to move together um, so I think this is going to be it for me today. As always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or um, anything on the counts, as well as I hope to see you on the Discord. And um, what else? If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to stay updated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.